As part of the Cambridge Centre for Housing and Planning Research team, I've recently been working on a piece of research for the Centre for Digital Built Britain and the Construction Innovation Hub, which considers the importance of the geographies of offsite construction for addressing regional inequalities in the UK. The drive towards an increased use of off-site construction is happening at the same time as the levelling up agenda, which seemingly aims to ensure that there's a fair distribution of opportunity across the UK. And my research looks at what the role of off-site construction could be in relation to that aim, taking into account any barriers and opportunities that might exist. I've been speaking to experts across the industry to gain insights into the issue, and I'll be finalising my analysis in the coming months. One thing that is clear, particularly in relation to the off-site construction of modular housing, is that land values have a huge influence on the viability of it. So while there might be opportunities to have factories in areas where land values are low, because the costs of factory-based production are pretty much fixed, it's far more profitable to then install those houses in areas of the south where values in the housing market are much higher, particularly for private sale or private rent. And so it's possible that we could end up with huge variations in the extent to which this approach to construction is used across the country in housing. And so that is something which I'd be giving attention to in my analysis to consider what the implications of that could be. We know that off-site construction presents a whole range of opportunities for environmental, social and economic benefits. And it's essential that we know where those benefits are accruing and understand why that is so that the construction industry can play a role in tackling inequalities.